And Richard Hadley picks up a well-deserved wicket. Hadley now to Randall. Oh, well bowled. Oh, real beauty there. And that'll be a, a big feather in Richard Hadley's cap. So Bob Taylor has just come in now, facing Hadley. And he's knocked his middle stamp out the ground too. Well, a fine spell loose by Hadley, disposing of Randall, and then two balls later, knocking back Bob Taylor's stamps. Richard Hadley probably thinking it would be nice if he could pick up the last two wickets. He's taken 198 test wickets. And that's all over now. So Hadley now has 20 wickets in the series. That's the most by a New Zealander ever in England. And he's gone. So great performance by Hadley to finish off this England innings. And with it is 200th wicket in uh, Test match cricket. Four wickets in the innings taken him to 200 in remarkably good time. I remember going to Trent Bridge there and I uh, picked up my 200th test wicket there with Norman Cowens. Uh, they all count whether at number one or number 11. And I remember Bob Willis, who was the captain at the time, made a marvellous gesture because he could easily have declared the innings closed when uh, I was on 199 test wickets. And uh, he did say that uh, we won't declare, we'll give him a chance meaning that with Norman Cowns coming to the wicket, I had a chance there of picking up the 200th wicket, which I'm sure that Bob Willis, uh, in many ways, willed me to do, because I suppose he'd been in a similar situation himself when um, striving to achieve personal targets or to, to get to a certain 100, 200 or 300 wickets, and it was a lovely gesture, and uh, a great deal of thanks to him for that, and just shows you that there are some real gentlemen in, in the game of cricket, or any sport for that matter, 